In this video I will show you what the best game engine in 2024 is. We will go over every aspect and at the end of the video you will know what game engine you should choose. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Steven, the main man behind Steve Game Studios. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing because here on this channel I actually develop my own game forms with community driven development. You can interact, we will create a game together. And now without further talking, let's find out what the best game engine in 2024 is. First off, let's talk about what you need to consider when choosing a game engine. The main aspects are ease of use, community support, exporting options, pricing, supported features and programming languages. Or for those who don't want to program the question, does this game engine support visual scripting? Yes or no? These factors will greatly impact your game development experience and the final product. In the upcoming minutes, we will talk about five game engines that I brought today. Those being Unity, Unreal, Godot, Game Maker and also RPG Maker. If there are any other game engines that I should consider, just let me know in the comments and I will definitely talk about those in the future start with the first game engine of today and that is Unity, a classic that we properly all know. It's one of the biggest, if not the biggest game engine out there. It was released in 2005 and the latest version is actually the 2022 version. I always refer to the LTS versions here when I talk about the latest version and some popular games that were made with Unity are Among Us, Pokemon Go, Cuphead and also Genshin Impact actually. Let's get quickly over the benefits of Unity. So the first one is definitely the ease of use. So Unity has a really user friendly interface is really intuitive there are a lot of documentations in there that you can easily learn it's really beginner friendly and not only that the second benefit is definitely the community there are a lot of creators that already use unity you can easily learn that in a few weeks and then you can make your first game really quickly with a bunch of tutorials forums and also user generated content so if you find a bug which you will definitely find then you can easily fix it with just some google research and the third benefit of unity is exporting you can export it to any console any PC device. You can also export it to mobile. VR is also sorted with Unity. Coming into the cons of Unity because there are actually some. The first being definitely the performance. Overall Unity is capable of good graphics but if you want really the high-end high-end graphics then I would recommend you to choose other game engines. Another factor that comes in with the cons is definitely the pricing. Although Unity has a free and personal version that you can easily use and start using today. There's also some things that you need to know about the pricing. For example when you hit 1 million in revenue you need to give something to unity also there is the unity pro version but that costs like over a hundred bucks a month so that's a little bit expensive so you should definitely consider that when making a game how much revenue do you expect and are you ready to actually give something away to unity in the aftermath and the third con is definitely the complexity although unity is easy to learn there are still a lot of things to do and even me as a experienced developer who uses now unity for some years doesn't know everything about this game engine because it just has so many supported features like multiplayer, 2D, 3D, mobile, it's all a lot. It's definitely a little bit complex. Coming then to the final ratings of the things we just talked about earlier. So the first thing that we want to rank here is the ease of use. I would give it here an 8 out of 10. Although it's pretty complex, you can definitely learn this and it's nothing impossible. Also here the community is really important. Here I would give it 9 out of 10 because there are a ton of tutorials, forums and all of that kind of stuff. And you can easily learn it also with that. And then we have also the effect of export that this is also very great here with Unity. I would also give this here a 9 out of 10 because you can basically export it to any platform and that is the most important factor in here. The next feature would be then the pricing. This is maybe one of the features where Unity is a little bit behind. So like I said before, there are some things that you need to keep in mind when releasing the game, when you actually see that the game has some success. So that's why I would give this pricing here a 6 out of 10. And then we have the supported features. I would give it an overall 8 out of 10 because with Unity you can make practically any game really good maybe not perfect if you really already know what game do you want to make then maybe you should wait for the next game engines but overall if you just want to start making games then i think in this factor unity is really the best choice you can go for and then with the programming languages in unity we actually use t-sharp but you can also use visual scripting that's already an integrated feature in unity so if you are not used to coding you can also use that and for the final rating for unity i went with an 8 of 10 and you can see now in the table that it has for now the first place let's see what the other game engines have to offer. 
The next game engine that I want to talk here is Game Maker. It's an engine that is already 25 years old, but the real hype came in the last years. The latest version of Game Maker is Game Maker Studio 2, and some notable games of Game Maker are definitely games like Undertale, Hyperlight Driver, and Hotline Miami. Coming then to the benefits of Game Maker, the first being definitely the ease of use. So Game Maker is known for its user-friendly interface, making an excellent choice for beginners. The drag and drop system allows developers to create games without needing extensive programming knowledge. And also Game Maker is highly known for the 2D focus. So that's another benefit. If you really want to make 2D games, Game Maker is definitely an engine that you should highly consider because it's specifically designed for 2D game development, providing specialized tools and feature that make it easier to create games in that kind of style. And then the third benefit is definitely the drag and drop system. It's really unique. That's why I highlight it here again, because in that way you can just drag and drop logic without coding. So it's really, really beginner friendly and easy to use. But when you have an easy software like Game Maker, there are always some cons. The first con is definitely the limited 3D capabilities. So the thing about Game Maker is you can make 3D games, but it's really difficult and Game Maker is just not optimized for it. So you should definitely consider that. Also, the pricing is a con because why Game Maker offers a free version, exporting to most platforms requires a paid license. This can be a disadvantage for developers on a tight budget. And then the features are also a con because Game Maker is less feature rich compared to other game engines like Unity or Unreal. This can be a limitation for developers looking for advanced tools and capabilities. Come now to the ratings of Game Maker. For the ease of use, I went for a 9 out of 10 because like I said, Game Maker is really easy to use because of the drag and drop system, for example. You can learn it within a few days, actually. The community is also there, but it's not as big as, for example, with Unity. So I went here for a 7 out of 10, but I think in the future, this will also grow. Then the exporting, like I said, if you want to export it, it's no problem, but you just have to pay for it. So that's really a downgrade. That's why I went here for a 6 out of 10. And then we have the supported features also heal 6 out of 10 because at the end, if you want to make a 3D game, you shouldn't use Game Maker. It's just for 2D games optimized. So yeah, that's the point there. And then coming to the programming languages, the thing about Game Maker is it has its own language. So that can be benefit because you can really easily learn it. But if you want to switch someday to another game engine, this might be a con because at the end, the knowledge you learn here, you can't really take that to another game engine if you decide to switch one day. So for the overall rating, I would say Game Maker deserves a 7 out of 10. That's why I put it a little bit down under Unity. Let's come now to the next game engine. The next game engine that I brought here is Godot. So Godot is a game engine that has actually a pretty good hype in the recent months and years. Also, for example, with the latest videos of Rekis, who decided to come back and now to make videos about Godot. So that's a pretty good thing. Overall, Godot's release date was the year 2014. So it's also a pretty fresh game engine out there. And the latest version is the 4.0. And some notable games that were made with Godot are games like the interactive adventures of Dog, Mendoza and Pizza Boy. And also an upcoming game is Kingdoms of the dump but overall it's really important to say that Godot is definitely a fresh game engine so there aren't as many games out there that are made with Godot as for example with Unity. Coming now to the benefits the first one is definitely the open source factor so that is something really really special about Godot. Everyone can contribute and the engine is constantly updated so that's definitely also something you should keep in mind. I think Godot will be definitely a game engine for the future. Another thing is also about Godot that's really lightweighted so Godot runs efficiently on most hardware making it accessible for developers with limited resources. Its lightweight nature also means faster development and iteration times. The third benefit of Godot is definitely the versatile factor. So Godot supports both 2D and 3D game development, providing a versatile platform for creating a wide range of games. Coming then to the cons of the platform. So the first con is definitely still the smaller community. Like I said now before, I think Godot can make an impact in the future. But for now, for the year 2024, the community is still a little bit small. So it's difficult to learn the engines. So the second con that I'm bringing up here, the learning resources are still pretty limited. And then coming to the final con of Godot, and that is the exporting. So why Godot's exporting options are good? They may lack the Polish and ease of use found in other engines. This can be a limitation for developers looking to target multiple platforms. That's still a thing that needs to be worked on. Coming then to the ratings of Godot. Again, first being ease of use, I would give Godot here a 7 out of 10, because in general, the interface is user-friendly. But of course, the smaller community means less learning 
learning material out there. So that is the next thing that I would rank here. That is the community. I would give Godot here a 6 out of 10. I think, like I said, it will be a growing factor. But for now, the community and the learning materials are pretty low. Then we have the exporting. I would give here, here a 7 out of 10. So in general, you can export your game to platforms like Windows, Mac, Android, and HTML5. But the process can be less straightforward. For example, in other game engines, there is more easier to actually export the game when you're finished with it. But definitely a great factor of Godot is the pricing. It's completely free. It's open source. You don't need to pay anything. Also not if the game hit 1 million revenues, you don't need to give anything away. That's a really great factor when we talk about Godot. And that is something really special about this game engine. And coming then to the supported features, I would give Godot here a 7 out of 10. In general, Godot offers a good range of features for both 2D and 3D, but it's less mature than other engines. Some advanced features are still in the development. And coming then to the programming languages, Godot offers here a range of programming languages, like for example, GDScript, C Sharp, C++, and that is also something really special about Godot. And also Visual Scripting is something that comes up, but for that you actually need to install the latest version 4.2 in order to use that. So I think it's still in the beginning, but in general, you can use also Visual Scripting for Godot. On the other hand, just learn coding with Godot. There's also a range of programming languages you can use. So that's really nice about this game engine. And so the overall rating would be 7 out of 10, but I would definitely give it a 7 plus out of 10 because like I said now many times, Godot is the future and we should definitely keep that in mind when choosing our game engine. Coming then to one of the last game engines of this video here, and that is RPG Maker, being out there for over 20 years. The latest version of RPG Maker is RPG Maker MZ, released in 2020. And some notable games made with this game engine are, for example, To The Moon and One Shot. Coming then to the benefits of RPG Maker, and the first one is definitely the focus on the RPG genre. So if you make a game in this genre, you can definitely expect a great game engine for you. There are a lot of tools that make it really easy and really fast paced to create first RPG. With that also comes the second benefit and that is the ease of use in general. You can easily create characters and other things that you need in an RPG. It's also a very beginner friendly interface. And then the third benefit are definitely the asset packs. RPG makers comes with a lot of built in assets including character sprites and also music which can help speed up the development process really easily. Of course we have for RPG maker also some cons and the first one is probably the biggest and that is the limited flexibility. There are actually some developers that try to make another game than an RPG with RPG Maker but all is said that it's really difficult to make that because it's just the focus of the game engine that it has so if you want to make RPG you should definitely consider game engine but if not take your hands off RPG Maker and use another engine for a different type of game. The second con is definitely the performance so RPG Maker can be limited in terms of performance and customization options. This can be a drawback for developers looking to create more complex or resource intensive games. This is just you know another saying of it has limited flexibility and the third thing is definitely the price so RPG Maker requires purchasing the engine and additional asset packs which can become costly. This can be a disadvantage for developers on a tight budget and with that we have the three cons of RPG Maker. So coming then to the ratings of RPG Maker, the first one is the ease of use that is probably the best thing on the engine. You can really easily when you make an RPG make the game in like a week and then you have already a really good game. But to be honest this is like the only real advantage to RPG Maker. When we talk about the other things like for example community, you can definitely say that RPG Maker lacks a little bit of community it's really hard to get additional materials because there are just a few creators who make videos on RPG Maker also the exporting is really limited because RPG Maker primarily exports to PC with additional plugins you can also export platforms like mobile but definitely not that easy as on other game engines the next factor is definitely the pricing here I would give RPG Maker a 5 out of 10 because you have to actually purchase the game engine that is something that only has RPG Maker here and that is definitely a big minus and then we have also the supported features here I would also give the RPG Maker a 5 out of 10 because although the features are focused on RPG if you want to make something else it's really difficult to do that and then coming to the programming languages here is also a minus cause yes you can use JavaScript but if you have no experience in coding it's really hard to make something else because there is not really a supported visual scripting I think there are some plugins but it was hard to find something official so that's why I would say there is no visual scripting in RPG Maker but if you have other experiences then just let me know in the comment and I would definitely correct this. And so coming then for the overall rating, I would go here for a 6 minus out of 10 because if you make an RPG, it can be a great engine. But if you want to make anything else, don't use RPG Maker. 
coming then to the last game engine of this ranking and that is Unreal. I think you all waited for this one. It's always the question, should I choose Unity or Unreal? It's got over Unreal. Unreal engine was released in 1998, so it's also a really old engine. And then we have on a notable game side games like Fortnite, one of the most successful games of all time, but also the Gears of War series, Borderlands 3 and the Outer World. Coming then to the benefits and the first one is definitely the graphics. They are probably the best on the market, but this is a huge benefit with Unreal Engine. Also another benefit is the blueprint system. So if you are new coding or you don't want to code at all, you have the blueprint system, which is basically a visual scripting system. That is also really nice. And the third benefit is definitely the aspect of free. So Unreal Engine has the principle of free to use until your game makes a significant amount of money, which is in this case $1 million in revenue. And then Unreal Engine becomes very clearly about what you need to give them. In general, I think the pricing is also really fair and definitely a benefit also for small studios. Coming then to some of the cons of Unreal Engine, the first one is definitely the deep learning curve. Unreal Engine is also one of the probably deepest game engines out there. You have an enormous amount of buttons that you need to learn and it probably takes years to learn this engine completely. So this is really also a con. Another con is the performance. So in order to use Unreal Engine, you really have to big hard drive and overall a PC for a lot of money because otherwise it's really hard to use and enjoy Unreal Engine while developing a game. And then the third and last con of Unreal Engine is definitely the exporting factor. So while Unreal offers powerful exporting options, optimizing games for lower end platforms can be challenging and might require additional effort. So if you want to make a simple 2D game, maybe you should think about another game engine. And then coming to the final ratings of Unreal Engine, the first one is of course the ease of use. Here I would give Unreal Engine a 6 out of 10 because despite powerful features, it's really, really hard to learn this engine. There are a lot of things that you need to learn first in order to make your first game. And that's why it can be less accessible for beginners. And the question is always there if it's actually beneficial to learn Unreal Engine, for example, in a situation where you have a little amount of time to actually produce and publish your game. Another factor is the community. So here I would give Unreal Engine an 8 out of 10. It's definitely a good community. You can learn a lot, but it's not as good, for example, as with Unity. Then we have the exporting factor. Here I would give Unreal Engine a 7 out of 10 because like I said before, in general, yes, you can export everywhere. But if you want to target those lower end platforms, like for example, mobile, you should definitely think first before you actually learn and develop your game in Unreal Engine. Then the pricing model, I would give here Unreal Engine 9 out of 10 because in general, yes, it's free. The 5% royalty starts when you hit a 1 million in revenue. And I think if you ever hit this number, it will be totally okay for you to give away 5% in revenue. And coming to the supported features here, I would definitely give Unreal Engine a 10 out of 10 because it's just when you look at the features, then you can definitely say that Unreal Engine is probably the best engine out there, especially for those high-end AAA games. And then when we talk about program languages, we have here C++, which is also a great language. And we have also the blueprint system. So for visual scripting, it's also easy to use. So both programmers and non-programmers can easily use Unreal Engine. And then coming to the overall rating, I would give here Unreal Engine an 8 out of 10. I would rank it right next to Unity. So those engines are both on the same level with, of course, some benefits for Unreal, but also some benefits for Unity. So to come to the final conclusion, I would just show you the final standings. As you can see, Unity and Unreal are still in the first place. Then comes Godot and Game Maker. And at last, I would definitely put RPG Maker. And at the end, I also want to say one thing, and that is I think each game engine has its own strengths and weaknesses. But when it comes to choosing one, you should definitely think about what game you actually want to make. If you want to make the next open world AAA game, then Unreal Engine might be the best thing. But honestly, if you already learned Unity, then you should maybe just stick to Unity because it's the overall the best engine out there if you just want to make games. But if you want to choose a game engine that is ready for the next 10 years, then you should definitely think about it though. And if you have already a specific game in mind, like a 2D game or an RPG, then you should either go for Game Maker or RPG Maker. That would be it, guys. I hope the comparison helped you a lot. If yes, then leave a like, leave a comment. What game engine do you actually use right now? And of course, I would love if you subscribe to the channel because I'm actually developing my own game forms also right now with Unity as a game engine and with community-driven development. If you don't know what that means, just hit the E button. There's the video linked where I explain what community-driven development is and why it's so special, why you should definitely subscribe. This would be it, guys. Thanks for watching and remember, together we game. Thank you.